All right, in this video, I'd like to talk about a short story called The Most Dangerous Game by Richard Connell. There are not that many characters in this story. I have identified four real main characters, but most of the story is just really between two characters. But the full main character list could go as follows. Whitney, Rainsford, General Zaroff, and Ivan. The story starts off with Whitney and Rainsford on a ship, and they are traveling to Rio in South America so that they can eventually make their way to the Amazon and hunt there. So Whitney and Rainsford are both hunters and they're on this ship and they've got a crew but it's late at night and they are presumably the only ones still up and they're having a conversation about hunting and uh, Rain Rainsford is a very skilled hunter and he's even written a book about hunting he's he's very good at it and he makes a comment about hunting being the best sport in the world. And Whitney remarks, well, it's, good. it's a great sport for those that are doing the hunting. For the hunted, it's not a great sport. And then Re Rainsford goes right back at him and just says, hey man, who cares what the jaguars or what the animals feel? Um, they don't have any reason like human beings do, so we ought not to care about what the hunted feel like. And uh, so Whitney kind of puts up a little opposition to Rainsford's position. And Rainsford's position is shows some insensitivity to animals, and this kind of sets him up for what he has to face later on in the story. It's kind of a uh, classic use of irony um, with Rainsford being the most insensitive to the plight of the hunted and he eventually becomes the hunted because of what unfolds later on in the story. So after they have their conversation on this ship, uh, Whitney goes to sleep and Rainsford is up alone on the ship and he hears a sound in the distance and it sounds like a gunshot and so he gets up and he he stands on the side of the ship on the rail and he's trying to look out and see what what's there or where that sound came from and um, he eventually falls off the ship and is unable to alert anyone on the ship to save him and so he has to he has to swim to where he heard the gunshot and it turns out to be this island called Ship Trap Island and it's kind of a well-known island by sailors and it's it has a very ominous and evil vibe to it but it, it should also be mentioned that Rainsford disregards this ominous, mysterious aura of the ship trap island, which is also a use of irony because the man who's the most skeptical of the evilness of an island eventually becomes a sort of victim to it. So Rainsford swims to this island and he comes upon this big big castle like building and he he knocks on the door and and, and um, the person who answers is this giant dude uh, from Russia and his name's Ivan and Ivan is kind of the servant to General Zaroff who who also lives in that castle building and uh, General Zaroff knows who Rainsford is because he reads all these books on hunting. And so he knows Rainsford is an author and knows he's a very well-known hunter. And so General Zaroff 
um, talks to Rainsford. Rainsford lets him know, hey, I just swam near island. I fell off my ship. I need some help. Uh, can I stay here for the night? Zaroff's all nice to him and says, absolutely, you can stay with me. And they have dinner that night. And they're talking, General Zaroff and Rainsford. And Zaroff is also a very avid hunter. And he talks to Rainsford about how he's become really bored with hunting because he's such a good hunter, he always gets his animal that he wants to he wants to kill. And so he has devised a new kind of hunting. And he's he, he's started to hunt a different kind of animal that has made his hunting experience more challenging and therefore more fun to him. And so Rainsford is very uh, questioning of this. Oh, what kind of animal could this be that is really challenging you? And so it turns out that Zeroff is talking about human beings. He's been hunting human beings that have been stumbling onto his island. And Rainsford is, is repulsed by this. And he's like, you're a murderer. You you kill other human beings. You aren't just a hunter. You're a murderer. And Zaroff's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Relax now. I'm just doing what I think is right. So Zaroff unloads this philosophy that he has, which is basically a philosophy that says, if I'm strong, I can take advantage of the weak. So I wrote down what Zaroff says to Rainsford. Life is for the strong to be lived by the strong, and, if needs be, taken by the strong. The weak of the world were put here to give the strong pleasure. I am strong. Why should I not use my gift? And so Zarov doesn't have this philosophy of... The, doesn't have a philosophy that really respects human beings as as unique and as having a unique kind of dignity that makes it wrong to hunt them like animals. And uh, what this, what I, what I think this story is meant to do is kind of show how many of us, hopefully all of us, have this presumption that human beings have a certain dignity and that we that needs to be respected and Rainsford was kind of taking this presumption for granted and because he took it for granted he had this really insensitive approach when it came to hunting animals oh who cares what they think is what he says and who cares how they feel I'm the hunter I get to hunt them well now he's faced with General Zaroff a guy who has that same kind of lack of same kind of lack of sensitivity except toward human beings and so Zaroff explains to Rainsford his philosophy how he's been hunting human beings and how everyone who comes upon his island will be hunted by him and there's like a little game in place and this is where this the title of the story comes in General Zaroff plays this game with the people who come onto his island, and the game is that they have three days to, or Zaroff will hunt them for three days. If he doesn't catch them for three days, then the hunted wins, and Zaroff loses. But Zaroff will try to kill the humans that stumble upon his island. But he also like treats them very nicely when they get onto the island. He's not just a big jerk to them when they come upon the island. They, he treats them well. He feeds them. He makes sure they're well rested. They get good exercise. And then he says, let's, let's go hunting. And then he sends the other guy out there and he goes after him. And so Rainsford has nowhere to turn. He has to play this game with Zaroff because Zaroff basically doesn't give him a choice. 
He says, you have to play this game with me or I'm going to let my giant servant beat you. And so Rainsford plays the game and he he goes off on the island and he's setting and he's uh, very nervous, obviously, about Zeroff catching him and killing him. But he's able to keep his composure en- enough to survive the three days. And he does this by setting traps for Zaroff. And none of them really affect him greatly. But at the very end, Rainsford is able to go t- to swim back to the castle where Zaroff lives. And when Zaroff returns for the night... After trying to hunt Rainsford, Rainsford jumps out and kills Zaroff. And so Rainsford wins the most dangerous game. And the title, The Most Dangerous Game, is kind of like a pun. Because the game is is the hunted trying to escape the, the person who's hunting. So it's it's Rainsford trying to escape Zaroff. So that's like a chess game. And then also like game means is just another word for something that is being hunted, like an animal. And uh, human beings are the most dangerous game because they have the, the ability to reason and they're much more difficult to catch for the hunter. So this is... Another story that ends in a death, the death of Zaroff, at least it is very implied at the end of the story that uh, Rainsford kills him and then sleeps in his bed. Uh, like I said, I think this is a story that just shows, or it, it's, trying to sh- it's trying to expose that not all people share this presumption that human beings have dignity and it's an idea worth upholding, and um, it's an important principle because look at how savage things can become when the dignity of human beings is not maintained. So I hope you enjoy this video. I will put a link to where I read the story in the, in the description of this video. Thanks for watching.